Experts say our roads of the future will be as much computer as they are concrete. Right now, we're outside of Columbus, Ohio, right along the Smart Corridor, where you will find 15,000 miles of fiber optic strands like these underneath this 35-mile roadway. It's all part of the Drive Ohio Initiative, a public-private partnership that is researching and building the infrastructure of the future. At the end of the corridor is the Transportation Research Center. That's a private company that's testing the tech for autonomous vehicles and connected vehicles that can communicate with this smart infrastructure. The TRC says it cost them about $1.5 million to build every mile of their 30-mile testing area. The state of Ohio says it cost them about $2 million per mile to build a highway. But that doesn't mean the roads of our future will be cheaper. Experts say that governments will have to invest in hardware like these fiber optics as well as software to essentially create Wi-Fi highways. The infrastructure needs to communicate with the vehicles, whether they be buses, tractor trailers, scooters, and all of the individual vehicles need to communicate with each other. And the infrastructure of the future will also rely on smart signals. We saw one in Marysville, Ohio. They will be very critical to detect pedestrians, obviously a very important part of all this driverless technology. Those each cost up to $50,000. So right now, this is this state's approach. The final price tag for bringing this to every state in the country, well, that's still being figured out. Kelly? But it, it would have to, I assume, come from, from private uh, funds, Frank? I mean, I don't know if any states could, have, could really afford it. You know, Kelly, that's a, that's a multi-trillion dollar question that's still being figured out. You know, right now, the nation's infrastructure received a D in the latest report card from the American Society of Civil Engineers. They also forecast that the federal government will only have about half of the $2 billion needed to upgrade our roads. A lot of people advocate raising the gas tax, but as electric cars become more prevalent, well, that's certainly not a long-term solution.